I'm Joe Barrington. Welcome to the Canary Wharf Classic. It's the Gillen Markets Canary Wharf Classic 2023. We're doing a behind the scenes. I want to quickly show you where all the magic's happening in the TV truck, which is an extensive truck. It's that big, such a big truck that we can't film it from the outside. As we come in though, this is amazing. Lee Drew is uh, minding his own business, just making sure that the players behave themselves tonight. Lisa is doing her preparations. She's already looking fabulous for our studio show later, of course. And as we come into here, check this out, this is awesome. So the PSA own all this kit. They also own these two fossils here. They are owned now by the PSA, okay? We have jewels and spanners, okay? Part of production and engineering. Chris, who's gonna be tolerating all our commentary and playing all the replays. Laurent, who'll be directing, he's actually just gone for a quick, uh, a quick break in the Thames, so. But you can see what we have here is quite awesome with all the, the new gear. Very excited about tonight's show and everything that's going on. This is properly locked up as well. And we've got security guards patrolling through the night so nothing goes walkabout. We're gonna now walk into the main venue. On my right hand side is uh, remnants of the Thames, but uh, also I'm managing to catch up with Tim Garner. Here we hey, have, <laughs> here's Tim. He's been the tournament promoter, former PSA World Tour player. He found this venue and has been the main catalyst for this tournament with his team, uh, building it from an exhibition tournament, Tim, in uh, 2004. Yep, first time. All the way through. Uh, the winner was James Wallstrop for that one, wasn't it? It was, incredibly, 20 years ago, and he's, he's still playing. It's unbelievable, <laughs> he had a great match. And Tim, how did you find the venue? And I mean, it just fits, obviously, as we'll see in a minute. It's the most, well, probably the most perfect venue for squash. How did yeah, you find it? Well, they were building it in 2003, and we were looking to put a court outside the Reebok Sports Club at the time, because um, they'd opened as the biggest gym in Europe, and had discovered every other person that came in was looking for squash courts, and they hadn't put any squash courts in. So we tried to find a way to incorporate squash within their sort of gym, and through discussions with Canary Wharf Arts and Events, they said, we have a new venue, do you want to come and have a look? And we came, hard hat, boots, came down, had a little look, walked on a boat out there to get into the venue because it was still being built. Unbelievable. Um, and went, oh man, this is an incredible space. It is perfect for a squash court. Let's do it. Amazing, absolutely amazing. We're gonna have a look at the media room. This is quite James Bond-esque. There's Linda, who's looking after all the referees. She's hiding now. We've got the secret door, and this is where it all happens. You can see the preparations. Obviously, Joel getting ready for a, what could be a, a monstrous battle tonight. And the refs are preparing nicely, eating various uh, goodies from Marks and Spencers, lots of chocolate and healthy uh, snacks there. So they'll be on good form and some fresh mints. John Mazzarella is still training in the gym, but he'll be ready for later. So good luck tonight, Joel. Okay, we go back but, through. Oh my goodness, talk of, uh, talk of the, the Don of Doncaster. Here he is. He's been doing his meditations in his gym and he's ready for action tonight. Are you looking forward tonight, John? No, of course, it's going to be a great night. You're up for the challenge? I'm there and about. There and about. Good man. Uh, whatever that means, that's awesome. Right, we're going to head through here. Mustafa's just doing a few little uh, wrist movements, just getting ready. No rugby tackling tonight. Thank you. Okay, good luck. So we're just coming through now. This is any, any, anyone's trying to get a seat here. You've got the exercise bike if you want to do a few extra uh, bits of training. We've got our in-house uh, AV guys that are going to be playing some tremendous music tonight. I really hope so. All right, yeah, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And as we come in, don't worry because it's still early days. We've got a few, hi there, hi, getting their seats early doors. Tim, what's the capacity here? Uh, 450 seats down below, 40 in corporate hospitality, and 60 to 80 up in the VIP standing bar. So about 550 to 600. Yeah, and, it, and it, because of the intimacy of this and the way they're so close, the players obviously thrive in it. We've seen all these electric matches, and it actually feels, as an ex-player playing here as well, that there's uh, a good couple of thousand in here, which is awesome. Oh, it's absolutely rocking. I mean, it's a very unique to have the seating so close to the action. You sort of sense people in the front row are really almost, they almost like move when yeah, they, 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 go, go, they go after the ball because they think they're on the court. So yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Brilliant, right, we're coming through. As we go through now, we've got some of Mustafa's corner that are behaving themselves. They're ready for the action tonight. Okay, they've got prime position on the backhand wall. This is the back stand. We've got a cute few fans there. And as uh, we come through, we're going to see the TV platform where we do the studio. OK, the studio's up there. It's an unbelievable vantage point. This was brought in last year. We were able to get this uh, built and sorted, and it is brilliant. So whoever's not commentating usually is up there watching the squash. We're getting good reports back from them. And you can really feel the energy, obviously, being here. And when we're commentating, we're outside into, in, the, in the TV truck. 
so it's not quite the same. So it's nice to have the best of both worlds with the studio here. Uh, Tim's going to take us through now. These, this is one of the entrances into the uh, into the auditorium. Right. So we're going to come through into where the most important area is, which is obviously the bar. You've got the stands, the Dunlop stand, Technofiber stands being um, represented really, really well here, Tim. I mean, this, yep. this, what's great about this is that it is so close to the to the squash, so they can nip out, get a beer, and get back in, which yep. is which, it does help when you've got a, a heavy program of say quarterfinal matches or or lengthy semi-final matches. Yeah, I mean, it's tough with squash because you're in your seat. It's not like tennis where it's a four-hour match and you can miss a set or so. Everyone wants to watch every bit of the action. And obviously, having it so close, the, the bar are well equipped. As you can see, it's uh, buckets of beers. So they can grab it and go. Literally, there they go. They're all, they're they're all, they're all around. They've got they the buckets of beers. Ice. <laughs> I definitely want more ice. More ice in that uh, one. So it works really well. We've come to, as we move through, there's Big John. Big John's looking after the Dunlop stand. Merchandise, sorry, sorry, sorry just, merchandise just stand here as well. So we've got the 20 year t shirts that are being sold, which is fantastic. A couple of uh, books there, which is nice to see my dad's books back in print, Tim, which is great. 95 names on the t shirts. 95 names? Yeah, that's the number of players that have played the uh, tournament. I hope mine's on there. If you played it, <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> So we've got, we've got the best bit really coming up now. So as we now maneuver upstairs, this is the exceptional bit of the tournament really for me. Very tight security on the doors, which is uh, <laughs> crucially important. So hopefully Rob will be let through. Can he come through? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming up and this, this is just, this is something else up here, I'll tell you. For all the events that around the world and what, promoters are wanting to put on this is for me a real necessity to have that kind of little bit of uh, cream on the top okay you've got great seats down at the bottom around the court and then look at this as we come through here this is the double tiered VIP area so you've got tables uh, how many tables have we got here Tim got uh, eight tables uh, 40 covers across the top of the front uh, where they obviously get full inclusive hospitality, eat and drink, and they can watch the action from there, which is pretty unique in a sporting event. Normally people are in a box or and they have to leave it to go and see it or in a room and they have to come out. Whereas in the early years, we used to ha let people sit here and we actually gave them prime seats in the front row at the bottom and no one went there. And right. we were like, oh, like, we're wasting those seats. So we've now just, just everyone stays here. Yeah, brilliant. So as we move through, all the, all the characters are here, that's for sure. This man is the main sponsor. <laughs> Gillen Markets, Rory Gillen, who's done an unbelievable job for Irish squash, but also obviously being the main sponsor for this. And yeah, yeah. I want to hear plenty of noise coming from here. Okay, so you've, you've got the table number four for the main sponsor. And five, sorry, and five. Ali Farag, you don't see this very often. He's just chilling out up in the VIP area, so he'll be up, we'll see up later. Ali looking as relaxed as ever. Good to see you. And then we're going up to the main, the main bar which is pretty much where all the noise comes from. Of course, you've got the massive screen, Tim, which is an amazing addition to, to this venue, and, and yeah. again, a necessity, isn't it? Oh, it, it makes such a difference. Even, I mean, the quality of the, the TV coverage has, has changed so much over the years that now you find people are here not actually watching the court. They're just watching that big screen and they're having a drink with their friends and chatting and they forget that they are actually not watching the actual <laughs> action itself. They're so happy watching the screens because the quality is so good. The coverage is so good, it's, you know, it really works. And you get the replays, the decisions, you the replay, exactly, everything. Yeah, but you, you get still get all the atmosphere for being in here, yeah. so it really works it so well. It does work well, so yeah. the best of both worlds. So yeah. It moves all the way along there. It's a fantastic template. I wish this could be replicated all around the world. There's a lot of tremendous tournaments on the PSA World Tour, but this one has a real special place for a lot of us here. And then down to this man doing what he's done. And, and long may it continue. Tim, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but there certainly will be an event in London oh, if it's not here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's really important for London to have a marquee event. I mean, we want to make it work here. It's sort of, uh, it's so established now and, you know, the tickets could, like sell out within a few minutes of going on sale. I mean, people are always complaining that they can't get a ticket and it's like, yeah, because everyone buys them so quickly. Well, it's quicker than Glastonbury <laughs> Festival, isn't it? It yeah, goes out quicker than Glastonbury yeah. Festival. So. so that's great. Yeah. yeah brilliant. So, no, 
and looking forward to a, a great evening. Yeah, well, I hope you can enjoy it and relax because you, you know you, you do take a lot on your shoulders. But tonight should be a cracking evening for the semi-finals, and I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes with Tim Garner and myself, just showing you what it's like here at the Gillen Markets Canary Wharf Classic 2023.